Welcome, everyone. It's good to see you this morning. Um, and uh, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ as we come together. Probably we are experiencing some problems. I don't know if you can see me, you can hear me. Um, can you hear me, really? Uh, nod your heads if you can hear me. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, I think we are experiencing some, some uh, technical problems. Uh, our apologies for that. Uh, you know, that's the, the uh, beauty of technology. Some days are pretty good and some days are not that great. But we come here today <clears throat> through these screens um, and we come with different needs. Um, and I guess some of us are wrestling with the current times, with problems, with challenges, and um, uh, challenges that sometimes threaten to overwhelm us. <clears throat> and some of us are dealing with COVID or crying out for healing. Um, <clears throat> and in this time of isolation, some of us are struggling, you know, to have some, some relevance, or we're just crying out for some refuge. And, and some of us are hungering for, you know, for presence and hungering for what God alone can give us and can provide. So in this time and in this place, this morning, God is here and God meets us in our needs and, <clears throat> and God uh, uh, meets us face to face. Welcome to this day. Much. We have so much that you've given us, the rain and the wind included, but most of all for the sunshine. Continue to be with us today. Let us feel you as we open our minds and heart to worship. As we start our week being refreshed and regenerated in your love so that we can go forward love guiding us. So be with us as we worship, and we ask all of this in your name. Amen.
I got a prayer for uh, Dan Brown. He's a friend of ours. He goes to Pastor Shirley's church. Uh, he's come down with COVID and he has a 25 year old at home with CP that he still has to lift because his wife can't do it. So prayers for the Brown family. Okay. Hi, it's Janice Owens. Um, I didn't get a chance to test, um, give the testimony last week, but I thank God for being here. Um, and I need prayers for several families. Um, my brother-in-law, I got a chance to FaceTime him yesterday, who, um, who's um, paralyzed from the waist, uh, no, from the neck down. He's doing good. He's in good spirits. He was so happy to see me. He was like, there ain't nothing wrong with his, we were on there for a while. So that was good. But um, prayers for three families. Um, um, Bishop Rance Allen passed away. They just had his services yesterday. He was a, a singer. Um, if you heard some of his songs, they sang some of his songs that give some going. Um, he passed away. Second cousin grew up in the same house with my mom. He, um, dementia finally got him and it prayers for the family, please. Please. Um, he, he was, uh, it was announced on the television because he was big in Chicago from the West side all the way out to 115th is just been, um, we're really grieving this. Then we have Bishop Ellis who died yesterday. So would you please keep these, um, Bishop's families in your prayers? Thank you. Yes, our prayers are with you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Bob? Yes, uh, I would like to report that Laura got in for a doctor's visit last week, Thursday, and was in found to be in sinus rhythm, which I had thought was strictly involved with nasal passage, and <laughs> somehow sinus rhythm is involved with the heart. Anyway, the uh, medications were adjusted because of a low pulse rate, but otherwise, she seems to be getting better. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Pastor, I, yeah. Yes, I, I would like to thank Pastor. He read the script exactly as I had given it to him, and the check will be in the mail uh, <laughs> soon. But just a quick story about my friend, uh, Brian, Brian Hecker. Brian is a bus driver, and he had been away from playing the organ. He, he was a professional organ player and went to school at the New York Academy of Arts and, and traveled around the, the world really playing, but he'd been away from it for 15 years. And um, he had a friend ask him to get back into it. He asked if he could practice at our church, was very impressed with our organ. And uh, I think it will be a part of our church service as we get going again. But I, I think it's just revived the spirit in him, and, and I want to thank Pastor for allowing the church to allow him to use the church to practice. And and uh, again, thank you for the publicity. That's all you have to say, Pastor. <laughs> thank you, Steve. Uh, I'd like to ask prayers for our daughter Sarah and her husband Ryan. They go on Tuesday to um, baby. So we will be grandparents hopefully sometime Tuesday night or maybe Wednesday morning. So prayers for them as they begin a new, very new chapter in their life. Okay, thank you. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to continue to have our thoughts towards our first responders. My sister, who's an intensive care nurse at uh, Alexian Brothers, uh, she's been a nurse for over 30 years. She's done a lot of good work. But as our infection rate continues to swell, uh, her age and everything else becomes more of a concern. So I'd like to pray for her protection and, and pray for this infection to kind of get under control. All right, yes. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I, I would just like uh, continued prayers for my brother-in-law, Mark, and my sister cancer continues to seemingly win the battle. Um, my sister's got some 
really tough decisions to make over the next couple of weeks. Yes. I don't know, Pastor, if you got the two that are on the chat. I'm looking at it right now. Pam Ross, uh, prayer for a successful foot surgery on Tuesday. And um, for uh, Matt's brother while he's fighting COVID. Any other prayers? Yes, Pastor. Yes, go ahead, Pete. Uh, I volunteer at the Grafton Food Pantry. And yesterday, um, we gave away uh, over 125 uh, Thanksgiving meals to needy people in, in our area here. And it was really cool to see how much these people appreciate, you know, something like a meal. And uh, so it was just, it was gratifying to me and the, and the volunteers, is, but, uh, you know, just to see the smile on their face, it was great. Yes. Amen to that. Any other prayers? Yeah, I'd just like to ask continued prayers for our friend Jean Campbell. She's been going through chemo. Just, just start going through chemo, right? Yeah. As she continued about colon cancer. Okay. All right. If there are no other prayers, let us uh, bow our heads in prayer. <coughs> God of love and hope, uh, indeed, these days have been scary days, uh, especially when we watch TV, the news are full with stories about this pandemic, about how coronavirus is spreading to many places, not only here, but also in the world. And some people continue to be worried that they might get this virus, but others are anxious for their family and friends who already have it and who are dealing with it, uh, be with them, uh, O oh Lord, and help them to recover, to find healing, um, and to, to find uh, also a cure. Guide our nation, the leaders of this nation, uh, those who shape our uh, national policies, that they may make good and wide decisions, uh, that they will uh, provide everything people need in hospitals and communities, to fight this pandemic, uh, keep us united in doing that. And we cannot forget uh, this morning, uh, the medical teams of doctors and nurses and caregivers and assistants, and also scientists, all who are working to discover the right medicines and vaccines to help those who are ill and those who are more vulnerable, provide for them the, the, the rest and the relaxation and the wisdom of knowing what to do with, especially during this time. Lord, we entrust uh, to your unfailing and tender care this day, those who are ill or are in pain, the, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe, comfort and heal them and keep, Lord, those who at this time are mourning loved ones, we pray for the bishops and for other people who have died these days, for those who, who are waiting for that final call, that they may have a safe release from this earthly uh, life. And uh, we ask that you sustain and support also, Lord, those who are anxious and fearful because of this time. Lift up all who are brought low. Uh, give them your comfort and, and your assurance, Lord, that nothing, nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus, our Lord. That, uh, uh, that even in these anxious times, you are present with us, helping us each and every day. So hold us close this day and every day, Lord. Lift, uh, uh, lift us up from uh, this uh, uh, dark uh, pit uh, that we may see the light. Because we know that joy will come in the morning, but we know we don't know when that morning will come. But we have hope that things will change and evolve and we will become more normal like we have been these days. Lord, we bring all these prayers that we have 
uh, prayed for for those who will have surgery these days for those who are uh, serving in food pantries volunteers for those who are getting good reports for those who are still dealing with illnesses and for for those who will begin a new journey um, with family and and or new journeys of faith and possibilities for them we we bring all of them uh, before you as we pray together the prayer that you have taught us to pray by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The scripture reading for today is a very short one. And um, it comes from Hebrews 10.23. Let us hold tightly without wavering. To the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Well, um, several years ago, um, some residents uh, of the Russian city, um, I don't even how, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it was the city of Ulyanovsk. Ulyanovsk. They filed a, a an unusual suit against the regional weather center, and uh, a local family uh, wanted to be reimbursed for their summer weekend that was ruined because of the incorrect weather reporting. Hmm. I think I've seen this movie before. Uh, Maybe not here, you know. So they booked their last minute vacation after hearing a glowing weekend forecast. But instead of enjoying, you know, the, the pleasant outdoors, they spent all three days drenched in cold rain. And it turned out that the weather center indeed did forecast mostly sunny weather. However, it also reserved a 10% chance for rain, you know, reserved a 10% chance for rain. I've seen that before. But, you know, at the end, the judge acquitted the defendant. And um, my question for you is, have you ever trusted a weather forecast only to be disappointed later on, you know? And most things in our life seem to have a probability clause attached to them. You know, the key, the key word or phrase being just in case. And that just in case clause is what prompts us to have uh, insurance, you know. Notice I, I said insurance, not assurance. You know, we have insurance for life and insurance for death. We have insurance for our health just in case we get sick. We have insurance for our cars just in case we have a car accident or, or our car is vandalized. Uh, we have insurance for, for our homes uh, just in case we get robbed or broken into uh, or, or it is some, something and destroys it. Um, so, uh, we have insurance for, for everything. Our monies are insured. Our loans are insured. Every aspect of our life can be insured, you know, for, for a fee. And, and all these insurances have stipulations and circumstances that can cause them to be revoked or nullified or non-existence. But this morning, I want to talk about something called assurance. You know, we heard the, the, the hymn, Blessed Assurance. And by the way, that, that hymn was written by Francis Jean Fanny Crosby. And 
she was one of the most prolific uh, hymn writers of uh, the world has ever seen. She composed over um, 8,000 hymns and hundreds of poems. And she talks about this blessed assurance. And, and when the Bible talks about assurance, uh, interesting that there's nothing said about the likelihood of being saved. No, instead, uh, there is the ironclad promise of Jesus himself, you know, that we are saved. And the scripture says, let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. And the promise is found in Ephesians 2, 8, 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith and not of uh, yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. We are saved through faith, you know, by grace. Now, I have to confess, uh, these days, I think I, I have pretty much a lack of that assurance in my life. You know, even, even the lack of assurance of my salvation. You know, because there are days, especially today, when technology has not worked very well, that the, the, the Fanny Crosby's hymn goes something more like this, you know, like, like this, you know, not my assurance, maybe he's mine. Maybe I'll make it to heaven sometime, watching and waiting, wringing my hands, never quite sure of where I might stand. Well, this is my story. <laughs> this is uh, my song. And certainly there are days when I don't, feel like I want to sing Blessed Assurance, you know. Okay, you can grab some stone and throw them at me because I, surely I'm touching on a sacred cows of those hymns in the hymnody, uh, Christian hymnody. But, but, but as soon as you are done stoning me, okay, hear me out, you know. The truth is there are some days when I don't have perfect submission. Do you? You know, and I haven't experienced perfect delight, this side of glory. Uh, you know, have you experienced perfect delight? All is at rest? Really? I mean, eight months of pandemic, weeks of social unrest, economic difficulties, uncertainty, unknown, people fighting each other. And to add, I and to that, I add my own you know, my own spiritual neglect and my worldly indulgence. I mean, this isn't my story and this isn't my song. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind it to be my story and my song. And certainly, I wish that, that I was praising my Savior all the day long. But I am not. And I don't. So I have to be honest with you. But fortunately, fortunately, salvation does not depend on me and everything I do. I cannot purchase. I cannot work for it. Salvation depends on God and not on my personal assurance. I mean, and the thing is, if, if you want this to be your story, you know, the, the, the blessed assurance, we must surrender our lives to God. We must show fruits of the Spirit. If you want this to be your song, we must give our hand to Jesus, our, our hand to the Master. We must surrender our life and say to the Lord, you know, Lord, use me, use us as you, as you see fit. Because, Lord, I want that blessed assurance. See, um, so that blessed assurance comes, and it comes, really. When you anchor your convictions in, in the word of God. Blessed assurance comes when you face difficulties, but know that, that God can do anything but fail. 
Blessed assurance comes when sorrows, you know, arise, but you know that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Blessed assurance comes knowing that after you have done all that you, you know to do, to just stand, you know. Blessed assurance comes when you ho your hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. When you dare not trust the sweetest frame, but completely, completely lean on Jesus' name, you know. Blessed assurance comes. Blessed assurance comes when you don't know if things are going to work out right. But you know that what the evil one may mean for your destruction, God will use for your elevation. Blessed assurance can come to us. But blessed assurance is not obtainable through all state or state farm. You cannot purchase through Geico or Prudential. Blessed assurance was offered over 2,000 years ago. And, and here's the thing. The cost remains the same. And there have been no rate increases and no cancellations. Uh, there has been no added, you know, small print or stipulations to get this assurance. All you've got to do is to say, you know, God, Father, I, I surrender all. For the price for your blessed assurance was, you know, was paid in full with the birth, life, and death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we are the, the heir of salvation because we have been purchased by God. And this is the thing. His grace and his mercy allow us an opportunity to come into the path of righteousness and out of darkness. And certainly we need that blessed assurance to fight these times, these difficult times. And we cannot trust in insurance, by the way. You know, insurance is man-made, but assurance is God-obtained. Insurance is revocable. Assurance is undeniable. Insurance is costly, but assurance is free. Insurance has limitations, but assurance is limitless, you know. And the thing is, God blesses assurance will not be canceled because of our mistakes or because of our sins. It will not be revoked because you have to ask for assistance. God gives us the assurance that insurance cannot give. God, Jesus gives us the assurance that mankind cannot provide nor purchase. And folks, because we have been filled with his goodness... We can have this story to be our story, your story, because God will never, ever cast us away. And one day, remember, one day we will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And those who are faithful will receive the crown, the crown of righteousness. And we will have no fear or shame, for we know whom we have believed. Amen. I would like to leave you today with a blessing that comes from Colossians 1. And it reads, Be filled with all wisdom and spiritual insight. 
Lead lives pleasing to the Lord and worthy of your calling. Bear fruit in good works of every kind as we grow in the knowledge of God. Be strong in the glorious might of the Lord who gives us power to endure everything with patience and joy. Give thanks to the one who has rescued us from darkness that we might live forever in the realm of light. And now may the blessing that comes from the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with us all forever and ever. Amen.